Keep watching Charis TV. You're free. Let's hear. I was sick and then I went to the doctor. And it started They like, give you this. In fact, it started last year when I went to the doctor and he found that the BP was about, about 200 and something. And then he gave me med medication. When I finished it, I, I didn't take uh, medication anymore. And uh, recently, I was just feeling sick. And I had to go back to the doctor again. And he said, why you didn't take the medication? So you're not COVID? And I, I didn't you don't test. cough? No. Touch your stomach. I release you in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. You are free. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Mm, I also want to greet our spiritual parents. I've got two testimonies. Uh, the first one is uh, I came on the 1st of August. And the man of God called those who were sick. And I came here, I was holding my medication I was given by the doctor. The problem was of BP. In my life, I, I don't have any history of BP. Yes, it only started last year. Yes, uh, I was prayed for. I even left the, the, the tablets here. So from the 1st of August, I haven't been uh, taking anything. But when I was taking the, the tablets, I was, I was feeling sick. I was feeling sick. I was feeling my right hand, it was numb, and also this, uh, the, the, the leg. Even uh, speaking, even talking, you know, I'm a teacher. A grade one teacher, you know how grade ones are. Because at times I'm forced to scream. So before, I used to feel so tired. But from the time I was prayed for, after that, it's like uh, Satan was still speaking to me. After the prayer, the following week, I got so sick. I almost went to the clinic. But inside me again, there was a voice which was saying, you are defeated. I, I, I didn't go to the clinic. I think he clinic because I believed in this God because it has been long. I've been prayed for. I was sick. I was doing this and that, but I didn't go. I ki khale ki ki khale ki ene beki sepa mudi mu beki dra chila li chila mara singi ki. But now I want to thank God of this house. Ani jole ki ratole ba mudi mu otulo ye. I'm feeling so free. Ki kwa ki lukulu I can speak. I can jump. I think you saw me jumping here. Ki a kono fofa ki a kono weleja. And I believe that I'm free. And the second testimony is uh, this is my neighbor's child. Uh, she's a best friend to my child. Ever since she was in grade one, I used to take her to school. Now she's in grade four. Now she has a skin problem. Uh, she has got rash. They took her to the hospital and they said it's rash. But the rash is, 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 is so serious. When I saw her, you know, I was so disturbed. Even my child, as a best friend, was also disturbed. The rash damaged her skin, as you can see. You can say that it's rash. And last week, but one, I came with her. When? 
Last week, part one. Last week on Thursday, it's Lily, eh, na? Yes, on Sunday, last of last week. Last of last week, it's Sunday. And she was prayed for by Prophet Andres. Well, I rappel like Prophet Andres. And he said, my child, don't worry, you are, you are healed. But I'm going to go sky with a low food deal. Now the rash is drying up. Unusually, rash is like a woman. It's drying, though the skin is hard. If you can look at her hands, yeah, the skin is hard. But the, the, the sores are drying up. I want to thank God of this house. Amen.